Derby? Yep. See you tomorrow. What's the tent for? You assign homework. I don't have to do it if I don't go home. I choose not to do it. <laughs> I just like camping. Hey, Adam! Shiny. I have an extra ticket to the sci-fi convention, and I figured you'd at least like the sci part. So, do you want to go with me? Double jump nom nom. Fine. You're not interested. You don't have to make fun of me in a fake alien language. Nama de Jujuba. Oh, so now you're making fun of me in a real alien language. Well, Nama Dubba Dubba Bud, you're stuck. What just happened? I think Echo just asked me out. <gasps> the end of the world must be upon us. We'll need to build a spaceship. A floating city in search of a new home for humanity. We won't be able to save everyone. Just the best and the brightest Earth has to offer. Obviously, I should go. I guess you can come because you speak an alien language. We'll need women. Lots and lots of women. You don't understand. Echo asked me out, and I blew it. I didn't say yes. Take it easy is not the end of the world. It just happens to coincide with the end of the world. <laughs> By the way, I've been thinking. I'm gonna need your seat for another woman. Attention. What are you doing? You know I love hating being the center of attention. Madison, why are you wearing that top? That's what I'm wearing. Oh, I didn't notice. No one noticed because you ruined it by wearing it under a much less pretty face. Hey, Adam, do you have any spaceship fuel? And also a spaceship? Do you mind? I have problems on my own. It's that derby kid, huh? Someone should really do something about him. No, the echo thing. She practically asked me on a date, and I chickened out. Chickens are pretty brave. You atomed out. Which is why I've invented something to make myself more manly. It's all about the fight or flight response. Our bodies react to any stressful situation with an autonomic release of hormones that makes us either face things bravely or... Panic like a frightened little girl? Exactly. So I figured, by creating a potion that adjusts my hormonal balance, I can make myself more courageous in potentially romantic situations. Let's give it a shot. Do you feel any different? Do I feel any different? <gasps> Are you saying I look fat in these pants? Uh, okay, I, I think your hormones may be a little unbalanced. How could you say that to me? I just can't seem to do anything right. I've just got so much going on right now. I'm just gonna go. Sure, run away. Whenever I want to talk, you always shut down. Student. Why bother? I complain about students all the time, but nothing happens. Why are you wearing that top? I saw Madison wearing it, so I went out and bought one, too. I was wearing it first. You and Madison share clothes? Can I get in on that? All right, I think I got the mix right this time. Now, if I'm in a romantic situation, I should be bursting with confidence. I'm off to find Echo. Good idea. Wait a minute. You think this is a good idea? 
Maybe I should test it first. I'm on it. Hey there, big boy. Derby, what are you doing? Do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh, very manly. Looks like someone's potion's working. It's not working. Well, I don't know if it's working. It only kicks in if I'm in a romantic situation. Well then, you'll just have to take me dancing. <laughs> There's Echo. Forget Echo. She's just a child. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to her. I feel a burst of confidence coming on. <laughs> this dress always brings out the beast in men. I've never seen so many muscles. Derby, stop flattering me. I'm not taking you dancing. You don't understand. Look. Ah! I'm a monster! And I have spinach in my teeth? Oh, no. Echo can't see me like this. There you go. I'll get Echo for you. Oh, she's gone. It's just as well. You're hideous. <laughs> Derby, I've changed back to normal. I know. It must be the potion. Rather than simply triggering emotional strength in an amorous situation, it's manifested itself in a primal physical form. Huh? <laughs> Echo look cute. Adam become monster. Oh. Adam don't want muscles. Adam, don't drink potion. Huh? If you don't wish to trigger the transformative properties of the elixir, simply refrain from orally ingesting the concoction. Oh. But it's too late. It's gonna be a week before it's out of my system. Until then, I'm gonna have to avoid anything that might trigger the beast. No problem, just stay away from Echo. And don't think about how pretty she is. <laughs> Or the way your soft, bouncy hair frames her perfect face. So, Mr. Tater, what do you think? Rice pudding should not be called pudding. I meant about my outfit. I went all the way across town to the secret boutique. It's so secret, it's changed locations twice during this conversation. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that outfit somewhere before. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Madison. Have you seen this outfit before? Where did you get that? I bought it from this boutique that just moved into the neighborhood. Like to return these pants? <laughs> Hello, class. Today we're going to learn about the solar system. <clears throat> Sorry. Today I'm going to teach you about the solar system. Some of you will sleep through it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited for your lesson, Mr. Young. <laughs> Perfect. You be the sun. If you want me to be Saturn, you better put a ring on it. <laughs> hey! OK, everyone. Gather around. I can't see. There's no cutout for my face. No one needs to see your face. <laughs> I mean, the sun doesn't have a face. It does in every picture I've ever drawn. <laughs> Aside from planets, moons, comets, and asteroids. Ow! I can't see. Maybe you need sunglasses. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> I'd like to help you, Echo, but it's dangerous to get too close to the sun. <laughs> Even though it's radiant and beckoning and so incredibly hot. Change your plans. I'm going to be the sun. <laughs> 
Ah. Uh oh. Smells like pretty. What happened to your feet? What are you talking about? They've always looked like this. <laughs> oh look, the sun is moving across the sky. Now it's setting. Now it's going through the door and running away. Mm. <laughs> ah! Monster! <laughs> Mr. Young! Aren't you gonna help me with that monster? Love it. <laughs> Let's see you keep up with this. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. People don't follow other people around and dress like them. <laughs> Where'd you get that sweater vest? That's my look. And that's why science doesn't believe in ghosts. That's very interesting. But how does it answer my question about the female reproductive system? <laughs> Echo's gone, right? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, that was you? <laughs> Great costume. <laughs> costume? That's it. Tomorrow is the last day of the sci-fi convention. I can invite Echo to go with me. There'll be all kinds of creature costumes. And I'll be in costume, too. Are you going as the ghost or the sun? <laughs> Hi, Echo. Would you like to go to the sci-fi convention with me? Please answer in the least sultry voice possible. The sci-fi convention? Too sultry! I'm never going back to that stupid convention. I paid $20 to get my photo taken with E.T. I'm pretty sure it was just a little person in a burlap sack. Anyway, I already made other plans. But you can join me. Uh, what exactly would we be doing? Hot yoga. What? You put on a tight, form-fitting outfit and go into a hot, steamy room. As you stretch and contort, sweat drips down every part of your body. Could you excuse me for a minute? Hot yoga sounds great. See you then. Hot yoga with Echo? Did your brain get smaller when the rest of you got bigger? I can't turn Echo down a second time. If I do, she'll never go out with me. But watching Echo in a tight, form-fitting outfit in a hot, steamy room, stretching and contorting as sweat drips down every part of her body? Could you excuse me for a minute? What did you do to my locker, nerd monster? <laughs> no. Don't hurt me! Why would I hurt you, Mr. Young? <laughs> but if you see that monster wearing the same tattered pants you're wearing, please tell him I am irked. Derby, did you hear that? Yeah. Irked. <laughs> Slab is really making use of that word-a-day calendar I got him for Bully's Day. 
Why do we even celebrate that made-up holiday? I like real holidays, like buy a greeting card day. <laughs> You're missing the point. Slab is so terrifying when he's angry that he triggers a flight response in me. It made me turn back into myself. I just have to invite him along to hot yoga. So you're gonna watch Slab in a tight, form-fitting outfit in a hot, steamy room, stretching and contorting as sweat drips down every part of his body? <laughs> Could you excuse me for a minute? That dress is... Cheesy. I was going to say ugly. Thank you. I'm only wearing this to prove that Madison will wear whatever I wear, no matter how cheesy. Or tomato saucy. Hi, Ivy. Madison, I love your outfit. Wait a second. I love your outfit. Thank you. Why aren't you dressed like this? Because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> and it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me! Laugh with me! At Madison! I'm making a joke out of her! Maybe the problem is your delivery. <sighs> Thanks for inviting me to yoga class. I was so bored, I was actually going to do homework. Hey, Adam, I saved you the mat right behind me. <laughs> oh, perfect. You two are gonna love yoga. It's been around for more than 5,000 years. Hello, class. So has our instructor. <laughs> okay, let's begin with half moon pose. Can I skip straight to full moon pose? No! <laughs> and then, the chair pose. Uh -oh. Hey, watch your hands! And now, into rabbit pose. <laughs> well, I did say watch your hands. Out. And now, into pretzel pose. I can't quite get it. Adam, would you help me? Just grab my leg. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You leave me no choice. But to bid you good day, sir. Namaste. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, monster! Pitchbox, get your pitchbox here. Flaming torches, three for ten dollars. Can't form an angry mob without him. Adam! Do you have $10? We don't need an angry mob. I'm gonna go in there and show that monster what I'm made of. Jelly muscles and frail bones? <laughs> I got this. Just watch me. From somewhere you can't see me. All right, monster. Looks like it's just you and me, two completely different people. <laughs> Roar! Roar yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna snap your bones. Roar! Huh? Your bones aren't nearly as frail as advertised. <laughs> Don't you forget it, monster. And anyone else who might be listening. <laughs> Take this, kapow! Oh, no, Adam, 
You're so strong. You pack a surprisingly powerful punch. That's right. Run away, out the window, and don't leave any evidence that you were ever actually here. Don't hurt me. I'm running away. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Adam, you did it. Yes, I got rid of him. And any evidence that he was ever actually here. Anything? Nope. <laughs> it's definitely worn off. Not so fast. <laughs> I'm never using this stuff again. And not just because I'm down to my last pair of pants. I sweat so much in that yoga class yesterday that I can't stop hydrating. Oh, can I have this water? Uh, wait! <laughs> Do you feel any different? Yeah, I feel refreshed. Thanks. You're welcome. But next time you're thirsty, let me get you a bottle of water. I have one in my bag. <laughs> <laughs>